you like to try the Beyond Burger? Gatsby, do you prefer regular meat? Are you ready to help me do the experiment, Gatsby? Which are 100% plant-based. They're supposed to look and taste like meat. I also picked up these meatless burgers, which we'll see what these taste like. I also picked up some plain hamburger patties from Whole Foods. We'll see if Gatsby can taste the difference. These are the beef ones. These are the Beyond ones. And those are the other brand. Let's see which one Gatsby likes. Which one do you want to eat the most? Okay. All done. So I have had Impossible or like Beyond Burger before. I haven't actually just eaten it plain. So let me see what it tastes like. Mmm. It doesn't taste like beef. It kind of tastes like a turkey burger, I would say. You smell? What does that taste like? Do you like that? Was that good? Next, we'll give him the regular traditional beef. Beef one definitely is like very rich, more fatty tasting. All right, let's try this other one. That one tastes really bad. There it is. <laughs> it tastes so bad. That's why you don't like it. It tastes like old tofu. This is the original beef. This is the impossible. And this one is the vegetarian one. See which one Gatsby goes for. Which one do you want? Smell, smell, smell. Okay, now. Now you decide, Gatsby, which one are you gonna go for, okay? Place your bets now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he prefers traditional beef patty. Okay, now which one? Impossible Burger. Ooh. And then... He doesn't seem to like that one that much. He can tell the difference, and he thinks that <laughs> the original one is the best, yeah? You were right, Gatsby. The original burger tastes the best. The Impossible Burger is not that bad. It's just, it doesn't taste like beef. We figured it out! Our experiment is complete. Now it's time for us to start the vlog. Making some breakfast today. Breakfast potatoes. Tip the pan. Take the oil. Spoon it onto the egg white area. Gatsby's like, where's my food? It's coming. Breakfast for Gatsby. There we go. Our four minute breakfast. Good morning. Okay, time for us to ship out the rest of the shirts this morning. Thank you so much to everyone who has ordered the shirts. I know a lot of the colors and sizes are already sold out. Gatsby, thank you so much for helping me out, dude. The Tisha ordered a Corgi Ramen tote bag here. The matching Corgi Ramen keychain. The Japanese Corgi t-shirt. The youth Corgi card shirt. And the dad hat. Thanks, Letitia. Bam! Folded. Quiet. Print. See you guys afterwards. Gatsby, so I hear it's a hot Corgi summer. We're going to have to keep Gatsby indoors today in the nice, cold air condition. It's like 103 degrees outside. <laughs> Oh, please, sir. Chewbacca? Do you like Chewbacca? We're gonna be doing some fine Gatsby! In the comments below, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and write down where Gatsby is hiding. Can you find him? Let's begin. Starting off easy, number 1. Number 2. Are you writing these down in the comments below? Number 3. Hmm. 
Number four. These are getting a lot harder now. And finally, number five. Where is Gatsby hiding? Did you find all of them? Congratulations, Gatsby. You're a master of disguise. 45 seconds. Start okay. Now. Okay, so it's a movie. Five words. Fifth word. Finger ring. Ring, wedding ring. Wedding. Diamonds, rings. Getting married. <laughs> gown. Uh, is it like the wedding crashes or something? Baseball. Or a sword. Is it a kill bill or something? <laughs> the finger gone. Remove. Removing the finger and ring. Killing. Oh death. no! What was that? The Lord of the Rings! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was actually pretty easy. Movie, two words. The first word. Playing. Oh, uh, toys? Toy Story? Yes! Yay! Movie, two words. The second word is, what is it, like cooking? Hot? Like a... Like a pan? Flying? Peter Pan? Yes! yes. Yay! <laughs> okay. Okay. Four words. The second word. A whip. Um, a magic wand. A wizard? The Wizard of Oz? Yes. Yay! <laughs> okay, it's time for me to head off to the gym. Mostly gonna focus on some shoulders and arms. See you guys at the gym. It is hot. 111 degrees. Let's get on with the day. You guys. This corgi is polluting. If we can be very careful, he might let us look at the sploot. There it is, there it is. I heard it's a hot corgi summer today. Look at that corgi, but it's so round. I drove all the way over to San Bruno right now because they have Sam Choi's Hawaiian food. There it is. Hawaiian sun drinks over here too. Okay, so we got a poke plate here with salmon poke. Well, over here we have loco moco, which is like a Hawaii thing. It's super good. It's just like a hamburger patty with gravy, and there's an egg on top. Garlic fried chicken here. Mmm. It's so good. It's so tender. We destroyed it. It's so good. It really feels like I'm in Hawaii. It's so good. How many do you want, Gatsby? Look how many there are in there. How much do you want? How much do you want? Three? Three pieces, okay? Yes. Okay. Please. Oh, please, sir. Oh, please. Oh, please. Okay. There he goes. It's like, which one tastes the best? That one? Presenting the reappearing Corgi. Drum roll, please. ba da 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 I thought I would give some more facts about anemones just because you guys seem pretty interested in it. The main anemones that I have in my tank are rose bubble tip anemones. I started off with two of them, but now I have four. They multiply by splitting in half. I think that they're very happy because the clownfish are taking very good care of it. Anemones, unlike coral, are able to move around the aquarium. The extra anemone is moving again. Check it out. This is what the back looks like. It looks kind of like a suction cup. I'm just gonna stick it back up here with all the other anemones, and hopefully he just grabs on. It'll move around the aquarium till it finds the location that it likes, and then sting and kill everything around that area. Another thing that you do not want is for the anemone to find its way into the power head, because it can get shredded into the power head and basically spread its venom into the entire tank and kill everything, which is pretty much the worst case scenario. The rose bubble tip anemones can have bubble tips. It can also change its tips to these super, super long tentacles. Definitely. Do not want to be touched by those tentacles. Other than that, anemones do prefer a lot higher lights, which is why they're at the top of the aquarium. Anemones are also photosynthetic. That's pretty much all we have about anemones for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh-oh. What happened here? 
I didn't drop it, and it's like not even damaged on this side. <gasps> Uh-oh, who did this? Why is this broken? Do you know? Do you know what happened? I just lay the iPad like right over here. I don't think anything, like every, all Gatsby's toys are really soft. And he didn't bite through it, and nothing fell on it. Do you know something about what happened? <laughs> I am driving over right now to grab food for dinner. It's kind of late, so I'm gonna get something that's pretty easy to cook. Okay, we gotta hurry. They're closing in like 10 minutes, so I gotta run. They have fiddly figs here for $35. Oh my gosh, I think I want one. They have fake fiddly fig trees too. $170 though. I gotta focus though, focus. Okay, it's this. This is so good. And we're gonna get this. Fastest Costco trip ever in and out in five minutes. We're all leaving at the same time. 10 minutes before it closed. Got my stuff. Yes. It was worth the trip to Costco for all of that just because this is so good. So one of these is pretty good for uh, two meals. And I just cut them diagonally so it increases the surface area. Like that. You can see there's jalapeno and cheese inside, pepper jack. Just doing something super simple, the rice is cooking, we got that. And for our veggies, we're just gonna eat the sauerkraut that I got. Sauerkraut is super good for you, it's a probiotic. It's good for your gut. So now that we got this cut, feels like it's hot enough. A little bit of oil here. You can see some of the cheese is already kind of like oozing out. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what sauerkraut is, it's basically like pickled cabbage. These are already cooked, so you're just basically heating it up. I was afraid that they would be too spicy too when I got them, but they're not that spicy. I do about like three minutes per side. I get my Tupperware. Whatever we don't eat, we're gonna just stick it inside of here. One more minute for the rice. Come on, rice. There it is. Rice. Sauerkraut for days. That's what I have. It's pretty simple, but very delicious. It's so good. Okay, now it's time for me to head off to Target. I'm gonna meet up with Sean. Let's go. Okay, we're back with Sean. That works for everything. <laughs> yeah, it does. I thought this one said bye boy, because I only saw this part. <laughs> You're like, what are we celebrating? I don't know, but then I'm buying this. Yay. <laughs> Oh, thanks! It's an avocado! avocado. <laughs> you can put this with the yay, um, serve this yay, one. Yay, best day ever. Yes. You would buy this if you're smart, because then you can use it for any occasion. Like, if you had extras later on. One thing does not belong. Yeah, which one is it? <laughs> <gasps> That's Ew. My favorite time of the year. Oh, pumpkin. Oh. I'm getting it. Pumpkin spice. You're so basic. Does it have scratches? No. Scratch 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 <laughs> do you need a hint? I do. How many hints do you need? Here, Sean, take a hint. Thank you. <laughs> you can get mermaid cereal, Sean. Yes. This is what the mermaids eat. It's just what I want. <laughs> no reason whatsoever. Oh. It's just mermaid. Oh. Flavor? Or you can get this, Sean. Generic best year ever. Ooh. Look. Home defense, gardening stuff. Chocolate. Oh, makes perfect sense. Yeah. Oh, Sean, really? both of our books are here. Yeah. Hufflepuff, are these, that's Sean. Are these books or they're, they're journals? Oh, and this is mine, I'm a Ravenclaw. Is this the Lion King? Do they oh, talk? Looks just like it. Is that Beyonce? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they have a Monopoly game called Cash and Grab, where it's just some cash gun. Someone who likes to play cleanup for the game. I don't understand how this game works. It says blast and grab the most cash. Second, the full. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what I came here for. Three? Oh, no, I want gluten. Oh, the gluten. I want gluten, please. Oh no, that one's gluten free too. Oh. We got what we came here for. Heading out. See ya back home. Well, it's time for us to head to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> He's like, I'm frozen. I'm stuck. Make sure to go to CourtneyOnFleet.com. The navy shirts are pretty much all sold out, uh, but we do have the ramen tote bag still in stock for now. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. This guy's already asleep. Hey, Gatsby, check out this awesome fan.
fish on a stick for a corgi. Today, I'm gonna be making Gatsby and me some Japanese fish 